Hi everyone and uh, welcome to Maxfield for Cinema 4D training and uh, let's first start by making sure that we installed Maxfield for Cinema correctly so it should appear here under this uh, Maxfield menu under this plugins and uh, if you can see it here then you successfully installed it now before we proceed I really want to use this doodle tool to stress out few things that I think that are really important and will make the following of this training much much easier. There are a couple of things you have to know about Maxwell Render. So first of all is that Maxwell is really a high-end or high-tech product. It really is. It is superb render engine. The second one is that it is simple. Contrary to some misconceptions on forums and the perception that it is complicated, we will disperse that uh, prejudice and uh, I will show you how simple it is in following lessons. Now also Maxwell is uh, easy to use. It really is, you will see. Now why is it then perceived as difficult and complicated uh, render engine and the reason for it is that it is and i will stop here and i'm pretty sure that you believe i will write difficult here but in fact what i will write is different so maxwell is different and that difference at the very end gives you faster results and it also gives them with minimal effort now that is really important although this difference may seem as a drawback at the beginning it proves to be a huge advantage over other render engines as i will show you in this uh, training so most of the time we will concentrate on this difference and uh, you will see the real power of a physical render engine because Maxwell obeys physical laws and physical paradigms so that's why it has a physical material and a physical camera and of course since it obeys physical laws there are some things you have to be well aware of to use it properly now let me just mention that the heart and the soul of uh, Maxwell Render Insights in Alpha4D is this scene object. So everything regarding output, engine, environment and some cinema based stuff will be done here. The second major part of Maxwell is material and you can find it material. Let me actually pull this guy upwards so you can see what I'm accessing. So here is a Maxwell material. Now you can also create it from this plugins menu. So material or even when you create one such as this one and double click on it you will get that Maxwell material editor. You can even create a new material from here. So it's very versatile and flexible and uh, don't let the simplicity of this material editor to fool you because with physical approach and by using this single window which contains roughly two parts so this uh, settings here and layers and components you can create any material you can imagine let's close this and uh, i'll get rid of this little guy and there is one thing that I want to mention because um, I will deliberately say some things throughout the training which are not really technically correct. So let me give you an explanation of that. So we'll create a cube and uh, if I would tell you that this cube weighs uh, let's say 100 pounds or kilograms or anything else, it really doesn't matter you would have absolutely no objections it is uh, quite reasonable but here is a problem weight is actually expressed in 
Newtons. So there is a common misconception that weight is expressed in pounds, kilograms, or in other words, measure for weight is replaced with a measure for mass. And that is a really common. And uh, I will tend to deliberately make such mistakes because I think it will be much easier for you to follow this training. And uh, of course, some of you that are really versed into units of measurement uh, will have to account for that because many people that are watching this are not really into that uh, technically correct stuff. So with that being said, I think we can proceed to something that is really really important and it is a major part of uh, Maxwell render and that is a scene scale so the measure of things inside Cinem 4D if you're rendering with Maxwell render so let's talk about that in our next lesson